Hey there, friends and enemies. Joe Per here again, and we got a brand new breakdown presentation from Diablo 4 developers where they go over a lot of new things like the Helltide, like the Nightmare Dungeons that we'll be getting, and surprisingly, we are getting another beta in the game that everyone can get excited about. And so, I wanted to jump into all that, kind of go over everything that we've seen because there's a lot of interesting information that they dropped on us. So, Helltides are demonic effects that affect sanctuary during uh the game of diablo 4 essentially they're region-wide events that are available to players in the nightmare difficulty demons are empowered and their monster level is greater than the player level essentially it's going to be overpowered enemies that you're going to have to fight for higher tier loot so i think this is a good thing and something that i'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out if it will really challenge end game builds and so that's one of the things that i'm very excited about seeing because between that between the world bosses it does feel like there's a lot of different options compared to past diablo games on the types of end game content that we're going to see same thing for these nightmare dungeons where you can actually customize them and select the modifiers that you're taking on with different uh, items so that's going to be very interesting as well and i really enjoy the fact that you can kind of customize your experience a little bit but also find ways to farm various weapons and armor and all that kind of stuff in a way that you're finding enjoyable and mixing it up one of the problems with these ongoing games at times is that you're going to see repetitive end game content because there's only one way to approach every little piece of content you can only do the raids to get the best gear which makes eventually the dungeons obsolete so having multiple ways to obtain all this information is a good thing in my personal opinion and i'm really excited to see how that all plays out they did go on to talk about how you'll be able to target farm gear as well with a bunch of different chances to do so which again i love that like you see on the the screen upgrading the glyph you're going to be able to kind of adjust these paragon glyphs and i i think that's important because you want to feel like you're always progressing and that's one of the things that again ongoing games absolutely need especially because in the beginning everyone's going to grind the story get to max level then you're going to go into the end game and at that point, that's where the variety needs to come in to keep people coming back. You're going to have the seasonal gameplay. You're going to have the seasonal resets like you have in past Diablos. But you also want your best character to be able to have content to challenge them. And that's what a lot of this provides. And I'm very excited to see how it all shapes out. Because, again, like I said, for these ongoing games like looter shooters, like MMOs, like looters like Diablo, these uh, ARPGs, you absolutely need an end game that is fun, sustainable over the course of time and keeps people wanting to come back over and over again. Now, one of the other major announcements at this that I was really excited for is another upcoming beta. They actually call it a server slam event. So they're going to try to get as many people in as possible in order to really overload the servers. There's going to be some issues, of course when they do something like this but it's going to allow them to really stress test leading into the full launch which i like once again your progress does not carry over from the previous beta to the server slam and it will not carry over from the server slam to the main launch so keep that in mind there is a new reward that you have available which is going to be pretty nice as well i like that they're doing that the it's called the cry of ashava mount trophy again i like that there's all these rewards because it incentivize people to check out all their characters, to jump back in if they've already beaten the beta, essentially. And to earn this, you got to hit max level, which for this is going to be level 20. Uh, they're not going to level 25 for this one. It's only level 20. And you have to beat the world boss. So keep that in mind, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. I think it's a good thing to try to obtain this item for a full launch, which is, in my opinion, there's going to be a lot of these cosmetics that are going to show up that you are a day one slash beta player, which is really, really cool. And I like stuff like that quite a bit. Again, for me personally, it incentivizes me to play the beta. And that's something I wasn't sure if I was going to play the server slam because I have 
hit max level on multiple characters, played through the story multiple times, and it's not something I really wanted to do again without incentive, and this gives me something to do. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait to see how that all works out. Uh, you're going to have the same content that was available during the past betas, Act 1 and the Prologue. You're going to have Fractured Peaks, as well as the past unlockables are going to be available as well if you did not earn them so keep that in mind also and overall i think i like a lot of these changes i think there's a lot of reasons to really get excited about diablo 4 it's shaping up to be a really cool game and from some of the stuff they shown shown off with like the paragon levels for example and some of the gear looking to be up to level 100 potentially that's very exciting. I'm really stoked about that. And yeah, there's just a lot going on that I think uh, you, you're going to see the Paragon boards here with uh, all the points that are available, a lot of different options, which is really cool. I want to be able to, at the max level, have a character that feels like my own, and I've got it customized in a way that nobody else does, and that's really exciting to check out. I can't wait to see how that shapes up. How the gear affects my playstyle as well with your endgame gear. And I think that's going to be something that uh, once I dive in and I'm able to get hands on with all that, I'm definitely going to make a ton of builds and try out different characters and cla uh, classes and all that kind of stuff because it does feel very exciting and I'm really ready to check all that out. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I tried to summarize all this as much as possible. I know there's a lot that they announced which is again it's very very cool but also can be overwhelming with everything we've seen so far my name is jopa i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel i'll be posting a ton of diablo content not only with the new beta but also heading into full launch as well and uh though the other thing about the beta they are going to have some of the class updates some of the uh, buffs and nerfs that we saw them announce as well so i did a video on that check it out if you haven't already anyway my name is jopa i hope you have a good one i'll catch you all later